financial prosperity is built upon two words, integrity and credibility. Integrity to me is, the way I explained it is, you not lying to yourself and you not lying to God. When David said, create in me a clean heart, renew a right spirit in me, he was talking about the need for personal integrity uh, before, before, with himself and with God. Since God knows everything about you, you don't have to hide yourself from God, and you don't have to hide yourself from yourself. So integrity is not lying to yourself and not lying to God. Bam, that's it. But credibility is slightly different. Credibility means that you don't lie to me. So it has a lot to do with you knowing who you are and then you putting that on display and being true to your own personal brand. We talk about branding products, but what about branding yourself? And when we talk about branding yourself, branding yourself has to, a lot to do with you acquiring the wealth called influence. And when you become an influencer, you're influencing because of your reputation. What kind of reputation do you have? And a reputation is different from a stigma. And we're praying that as you go through this entire process of prosperity, that God would also remove stigmas from your name. There's a scripture that talks about the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob. And the God of uh, uh, Jacob is interesting. That's the God that is able to change your name and your nature. And he's able to adjust how people see you. You remember before Jacob wrestled with the angel of the Lord, his brother had said, I'm going to kill you because of what you did. His brother did not have a good feeling towards him. He had lost his influence in, community, in, in his community. Everybody that dealt with Jacob, and dealt with him from the perspective of him being a surplanter. It's interesting because he had favor with God, but he didn't have favor with man. And I decree and declare in this season, you will not only have favor with God, yes. you will have favor with man. Yes. And people that hitherto overlooked you in the last season is going to look up to you in this season. God is, is going to be challenging you this week, and all of us need challenges. And, and when, when God begins to challenge you and give you social prosperity, he's going to increase your influence, your level of influence. Ooh.